Hello everybody and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Uh, this time we will make the image that, or similar image as you can see on my desktop. It's actually a product of another tutorial that I saw on the YouTube. You can go search for the Grayscale Gorilla uh, channel. They are making awesome tutorials, but they are making tutorials for Cinema 4D and for the tools that are available in the Cinema 4D. Uh, I, I decided that I would like to make tutorial for the Blender using tools of Blender, but uh, using exactly the same uh, methods and mechanics and exactly the same steps in the process. So let's go right to the Blender and start from this uh, cube. Uh, also, this tutorial will be in two parts. First part will be just setting up the scenes, the little spheres, and the second part will be the rendering, setting up materials, lighting and so on. Well, now just uh, we will use this cube to uh, carve from the big sphere, from the volume. So uh, here we will cut this corner so we will see inside. Uh, let's put it uh, to the side. Just here set it to 1 or Y. Minus one and add another sphere or not another just add a sphere uh, Topology is irrelevant in this case. We just want the volume inside that we will fill with the little cubes uh, I am using just a round cube, which is part of the uh, add-on in, in blender that you just activate uh, I believe it's extra objects or something like this uh, Set the resolution a little higher so it uh, looks more like sphere and use the boolean to uh, operation to cut the cube for from the sphere you can set the modifier here but i will use another add-on which is bool tools just hit the difference and it's done well now I want to see inside of the sphere to see what will happen. I will just rename it to volume to uh, know that this is the volume sphere. And when I'm at the little spheres, I know the difference, which is which. Uh, so to see inside, I will go to display and change the draw type to wire. Now I can add the second sphere which will be the little one with fewer resolution but with modifier subdivision surface that will add the resolution uh, in the render time so not in the viewport uh, and set the shading to smooth and move it to another layer now the cloning in the Cinema 4D uh, I will use particle system in the blender to place all the spheres inside of this volume so go to particle system set new uh, emission to be something around 1600 and all uh, particles will be emitted in the first frame so there is no animation no appearance there are just there from the start uh, now uh, all the particles are on the surface we don't want that we them we want them inside so check the volume and random distribution some, somewhere inside. Uh, you can see some of the particles actually escape the volume are outside of, of the big big sphere. Uh, so we will uh, address it or solve it with velocity here normal set it to some negative value for example negative one it will make sure that all the particles are actually inside and now go just to the render tab uh, and set it to object, find the little sphere and they are already inside. Uh, now let's set the size and the random size. The size is the biggest sphere inside, it will be like 0.1 and the random is the how much smaller the smallest sm uh, sphere could be. Something like 0.8 should be enough. Uh, now, if you just render this or saw this, uh, the spheres are intersecting each other uh, and it's not looking uh, that good. Uh, 
uh, on the picture uh, there is uh, pretty much no or minimal intersection of the spheres and it will it is solved by the dynamics or the rigid body physics simulation and for this simulation we need actually spheres not particles so I need to go to the particle settings and convert this particle system to actual objects uh, I have them all selected so uh, to keep the scene hierarchy uh, somehow manageable I'm uh, setting parent to the volume, volume sphere so when I select the volume sphere I can move with everything at once uh, now the particle systems I can just turn it off I don't need it anymore and let's set the dynamics it's here in the physics panel physics tab set this volume as passive object but uh, for now it actually has volume inside so we want invert it so it's actually a, a empty space inside of the full volume of the world around i hope it makes sense just go to edit mode select all and hit ctrl n and set it to inside we uh, flip the normals of this object uh, select the rest of the spheres add them as active and change shape to actual spheres and now we need few frames to run uh, the simulation let's say 32 frames should be more than enough and run the simulation it will probably take some time depending on the power of your computer well I will stop it right there uh, as you can see the top uh, is not filled because of the gravity uh, we can solve it either by adding more spheres inside but I think that more ele elegant uh, solution is just go to the scene settings and turn off the gravity and run the simulation again well now it takes really long time you can see some of the spheres just escaping uh, the volume it's not that big of a problem we will just delete them afterwards or if you want just leave them there maybe it will make the render more interesting well I think we are done you can actually make it to the uh, gif or video we will just use the last frame but I would like to work with it as uh, as object not as animated or simulated objects so I will select all and go here to apply transform so now it's not simulated anymore and remove it from the simulation settings uh, well it's done I can go to the first frame again uh, look for the spheres that escaped there's just those three delete them and actually we are done we have set up the scene now we need just to add camera materials lighting and render so it will be in the next part it's all for now uh, thanks for watching and till the next part bye